so this is my first at attempt at recording a video, so please don't judge me. Um, so I bought one of these, and there doesn't seem to really be any proper instructions that come with it. So I've decided that I'm going to make one. So we've got this little little instruction thing here. Um, it doesn't really tell you much, to be honest, but uh, we'll, we'll see anyway. So it basically just says that I have to put put these things to get straight into uh, water. So I've done that. So I'm just waiting for them to expand properly. Um, and at the moment, they kind of look like this. So I think that's probably as expand as it's, as it's going to get. They look pretty soaked. Um, and they've been in here for a while. But, but they are still soaking up the water. So I might leave it for a couple more minutes. Um, but what it says while that's happening is to have a look. Um, obviously, read your instruction manual because that's going to help. Um, so I bought this just to see what happens and got everything that I need. Um, so there's, you know, three different types, which are these. Um, so I'm going to try all three because I'm not very good at planting anyway. So what it says is that basically I should put them into the pot. So I'm going to try with three first of all because I don't really want to ruin it. And I'm going to try one of each. So what's probably the best one, let's get the um, Betula, apologies if I'm saying it wrong, um, out and see what happens. Um, so I've got to actually try and find a seed in here. Let's just pull the whole thing in here and see what happens. I can't, I don't know if you can see in there, but there isn't really any, um, doesn't really help me with what, uh, what the seeds are, to be honest. Let's shake them in my hand. I mean, it doesn't even look like there are any seeds, to be honest. Um, so I think that's one. No, I think I lost it. Uh, I think that might be one. I think we have one. So you're only supposed to put a, a little amount. So I'm just going to put one on there. Um, and maybe a couple of others. Um, just to sort of see if it does anything. I mean, I think that's a seed. Let's... Oh, I think I've got one there. But it looks like a bit of a dead seed. So I'm not holding any hopes for these, but we'll see. Um, I'm just going to put them back in the box. Because I don't think that's going to be any good. Um, so I've got the first three seeds down here, and then we're going to try the pinus. I hope that's the right way to say it. Uh, if I could open it, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? This is the problem with being in the middle of lockdown, is that I don't have my nails done. Apologies for the weird accents that come out. Apparently it's a voice I do when I get nervous. So with this one, I can actually see some seeds. So we've got six seeds by the look of it. Um, sorry, one's disappeared. Ooh! God, first video going well. Um, so we've got quite a few seeds there. Um, so I'm probably going to put... That one looks a bit dead, so let's try some different coloured ones. So let's try two of them. Um, and actually, I'm going to use this packet to put them back in. Because I think some of these might have died, because they've been in the box for quite a while now. Um, so we'll put them ones back in. So they're now in there. Um, so we've got... Five seeds so far. So we've got, we're now having a look at the Acer one that you get. See what happens. And I cannot open things. This is helpful. So this, these ones are quite big seeds by the looks of it. I um, don't know if you can see that. There we go. Um, so let's put two of these in. Um, and we'll see which one germinates. So let's pop them in with the other seeds. Because I've just ruined all of the packets. So if it doesn't work, we've still got quite a few seeds to play with. So, they're all back in there. Um, and I'll just show you the other ones. Uh, all on there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pot of water. And I'm going to go get the soil out how I want to. So it says you should break it up. Um, but it's in like a little sack. Which is a bit strange. A little, a little sack. Um... So basically, it says that obviously you should break it up, you know, take all the water out. I don't know what these other sacks are. I'm guessing it's to hold the soil together. Um, it's a proper, proper little sack. It's not a, you know, it's like a little sample sack. Right, let's pop that in there. Let's take them out. Um, and then let's just break the other one. Um, and put all that like that. Uh, so now that is empty as it probably can be. Take all the soil off. 
Right, so now we have a lot of soil that's covered in water. So I'm just going to go empty this. For each variety, and can keep any remaining seeds. So sow the seeds thinly and cover with a layer of remaining compost. So let's put a little bit in. Oh, throw a bit of compost on the... Uh, so let's put a little bit more in. Um, just so it's got enough. So we'll just put uh, a bit of quarter um, in each one. Just to start off with, just to give it a little base layer. Um, honestly, I have no idea whether this is going to work, but we'll see. So there's a decent amount of water in there, so which means they'll soak in here for a couple of weeks. Um, and then basically what it says is sow the seeds thinly. So, you know, put a couple in, the one there. Um, and I'm going to try and keep them to, you know, the right ones. So let's put two in there. And then, and then with a layer, so two times the thickness of the seeds, so we probably just want... Um, it's probably enough to be honest. Put a little bit more on that side just to cover it. Um, so now they're yeah, fully covered, all the seeds are in. So that's one of them. So then sow the remaining seeds. We want to put these two um, on that side and on that side. And just put a little bit either side. Put, pop, pop it down a little bit. Um, just want a little bit more there because I think it's a bit of a gap and a little bit, a little bit chilly. Um, so that's that one. And then this is the one we don't know if it's, you know, going to do anything. So let's pop them in. Um, and then perforate the plastic bags to allow air exchange. So what we've got to do is just put that in. Because um, that one's quite thin. So I'm just going to put quite a bit of soil here. So I'm just going to add um, some more in here. So uh, I've, I've read up on quite a lot of videos. Um... There isn't really much about this particular uh, brand or how to m make your own because I think it's very difficult and most people don't want to. Um, but I've also got a little more soil than what I anticipated. So let's just put a bit more in here and see what happens. Um, and then I think what I might do is just use the remaining um, just to plant another one really. Um, so that's quite a bit in there, let's add a bit more, just sort of push that down a bit, um, and then with my dirty hands, um, I'm just going to add some more of the big ones, because I think they're probably going to be the best shout, oh, or a couple of all of them, um, do that, so just put all of them in, so we have, <coughs> bless me, don't sneeze in the middle of a pandemic. Um, because people will look at you really strange. So I'm just gonna put uh, the remaining soil on top of those last ones. Um and put some more soil on top of this one, because actually I've just put another one in there. Um and then I've only got a little bit left, so I think I'll just add that in to the last bit. Um as soon as I've got seeds everywhere in this one. And I'll throwing it everywhere. Um so now as you can see, they're all so this one is the one that's got all of them in it. So I'm just going to potentially put a little stick in there, I think, just so I can tell the difference. Um, so I'm just going to put all these little sticks in, just so that I can see which one's which. Um, and actually, I could probably do that for all of them, but we won't worry about that for now. I'm going to just get rid of this soil on my hands. Uh, right, okay, so they're all now potted. Um, so now what do I have to do with is the question. So... Um, Sorry, my hair looks fine. Uh, so perforate the plastic bags to allow air exchange. Put a pot in each of the plastic bags and place them in a cool, light spot out of direct sunlight for two to three weeks. So we're not even going to know if they even do anything. Um, and then it says we've got to put them in the fridge, uh, which I'm sure my mum my mom is going to love. Uh, so we've got four of these, so we just need to put some holes in. Um, if anyone has any recommendations for this, I'd love it. Because uh, as you can see, I've already messed it up quite a bit, but we've got... I've got six pots, um, and I'm guessing as you go, you you add more. So what I might actually do is just just swap this one around a little bit, um, just because I think it'll probably do better um, if I have a limited amount in these, uh, rather than a hundred on each. Um, so that one needs to go in there like that. That one needs to go under two, um, and now that one's. A lot better so let's just stick that in there 
a little bit of soil out of this one because I didn't know that was enough now. I've used too much or too little. This one has another seed in it, so let's just chuck that down a little bit. Um, and actually, I'm not, I don't want to know what, what is what, so let's just take them out. So we now have potted, five potted soils. Um, let's chuck that back in there. Put these in too, so any more soil that I need, I can use these little um, perfect ones. So, I've got the perfect thing for this, which is this little bad boy. So, let's just perforate some air holes in here. Um, I'm not really sure how many we're going to need. It doesn't really give you an idea. So it just gives you, um, you know, an out air exchange. Nobody tells you what that means, and I'm not a gardener. Um, so we've got quite a few in there now. I might just add a couple in the corners. Um, just so there's a bit more than, because they're not very big holes. Um, One around the corner, one over here. Right, so that's one bag done. I'm not very good at opening things. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's put number one in. And then we've got to store these in a cool, dark place. Now, I have a very good cover for that. Um, if I could get the pot in the bag. So I think we've got plenty of air holes, but let's just add a couple more of it. Yeah, just it. So I'm just going to try a few different um, stances here. Not if I stab the pot. There we go. So I think that should be enough for that one. So that's number one. So we're just going to put that in front of out of there. So I'm going to do these two at the same time because that took a long time just to get a couple of holes in. And I'm going to make sure we've got enough. Um, so bear with me. I'll speed this bit up in the thing. So as you can see, the pots are already getting wet. They've made my, my uh, bed very wet already. Yes, I'm doing it in my bedroom. Don't anyone judge me. Um, I need to stop looking down. That is very, very wet now. Um, so, it's equivalent to soaking it overnight, right? So, just allows the air exchange. So let's just put that on there. And I reckon these are the same, so we just need to hurry up. This one's the one I put holes in earlier. Um, so we've only got two more to go. I've got to try and get them in the pot. Probably very wet. There's another one. And we'll just do the last two. So bear with me. So just to give a little background on me, I've never been able to make plants survive. I've never grown a plant from scratch um, and I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to gardening. I bought these as a present for my boyfriend who decided that uh, when we went into lockdown he didn't take them with him. So I'm now going to start the process, which I think is a great idea, um, purely because I was in the mood for it. Right, we now have two more bags, I'm just going to put that one there. So we have five of these. I'm going to put these at the back, uh, back of my room and put an alarm in for two or three weeks. Um, so it says keep them out of direct sunlight for two to three weeks. And then it says put them in the refrigerator for four to six. So 
I don't really understand this. So the perfect bags to allow the Eric James is what we've done. But I'm just gonna add in a couple more. Make sure sure there is plenty of space. Plenty of air stabbing in. Final one. Um, so you've got to put them in a cool, dark place now they're in there. But then you've also got to um, put them in a freezer or fridge, fridge refrigerator rather um, for a good couple of weeks. Well, four to six weeks apparently um, and see what happens. So, I mean, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll upload the next video when um, I'll put them in the refrigerator. Get in there, so that is that. So, we have now have a very wet bit. So, that again was you know, kit bonsai trio. We used only two, um, because you don't need to use too many. Still got a bag left, but we didn't use one of the pots. Um, and yeah, that is that is it. Check back here in uh, two to three weeks to see how we're getting on.